Hello, everybody. Good morning, family. God bless you wherever you are on God's great earth, on this great planet that God has made for you. And welcome to Bible Nuggets. I'm Pastor Bob Rice. And I'm Sonia Rice. And it's good to have you here today wherever you are. And uh, remember that God has a plan for your life. And um, when you stay with God, you stay within his plan. When you leave God, you diverge from his plan, and that's not a good place to be. So we get into his word in order to understand what God requires of us. And we look at these historical documents um, to see how God has dealt with people in the past. And um, God is in business and God means business, and and there's probably um, no greater story of, of that fact than the story of Noah and the ark and the great flood. I want to just start off by saying that um, the the story of the flood is not only in the Bible. Uh, almost every um, ancient uh, uh, civilization has a flood story in it. And uh, as we look through the you know, Mesopotamia and the, the Mideast and, and even in the Americas, um, there are um, uh, Indian flood myths. And, uh, but the interesting thing about this account, this um, um, Judeo mosaic, when I mean um, mosaic, I mean Moses wrote this, is the level of detail. And um, uh, uh, the level of detail uh, with a lot of the, the stories that we've been reading, like the ages and the genealogies and all this stuff, that there's a ongoing debate amongst Bible scholars of whether to take the scripture literally or figuratively and try to glean the archetypal um, um, lessons out of it. An archetype is like a big picture story. And, um, uh, but with the level of detail that the Bible gives, these things are more than just archetypes. Mm -hmm. Archetypes are written in a way where um, 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 they're, they're written generally. Mm -hmm. And, um, but uh, uh, the, the level of detail with these things are telling us that these are literal things and this is literally how it happened. And so we, we interpret the Bible literally. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's a very important um, understanding as you get into God's word to, mm -hmm. to do so. Now we're in uh, Genesis chapter 7. And I think we stopped at, at, at um, we kind of gave you a prelude at verse um, 11. Um, and the, the, this is what I'm talking about, detail. Mm -hmm. um, um, God gave Moses the exact date hmm. of the flood. Hmm. Okay. And so if you can read that for us. So let's just open up with a word of prayer. Father, we love you today and we just thank you for this time. I thank you for all those that are listening today. I pray, Lord, that something is said that can encourage and, and motivate and admonish and and uh, uh, and just cause us uh, to be drawn closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're in Genesis 7, 11. Thank heaven for 7, 11. <laughs> All right. Genesis 7, 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day. Wow. Wow, the 600th year, okay, the second month on the 17th day, mm. okay, that's when the flood happened, mm. okay. Apparently, Methuselah probably died in this same year, mm. okay, and um, because his name meant when he dies, it will come, mm -hmm. okay. So we have the death of grandfather Methuselah and, and now Noah. Uh, 600 years old, um, um, it says what? What happened? On that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth. Okay, all right now. <sighs> okay, let's dig into that, okay? It says all the fountains hmm. of the great deep. So we, we need to stop there and pause, okay? 
what we need to understand is that there the earth the um the the water system of the earth was different than it was today the previous to this there was no rain mm -hmm. there was no um uh there, there was there was no jet stream and, and and gulf stream like we have today and you have rains and thunderstorms and things of that nature nothing like that mm -hmm. the waters in the upper atmosphere had a barrier a thick barrier and there was water okay an ocean of water wow. above the earth okay. and there was a vast ocean of water under pressure under the earth okay so if you can imagine a, like a pop bottle okay mm -hmm. and so you have the pop bottle with it with it screwed on and um so you shake that pop bottle mm -hmm. that that soda is under pressure mm -hmm. okay and if you if you release that pressure boom explosion Okay, now to us, because the pop bottle only has two liters mm -hmm. in it, okay, it explodes, but it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. But if you were a microscopic creature, mm -hmm. okay, and that pop bottle exploded, that would be cataclysmic to you, mm -hmm. okay? And so the, if the earth itself was the pop bottle. The entire earth mm -hmm. was the pop bottle, okay? okay? And this water... And by the way, this ocean of water, half of it is still there, okay? So we know that this is true, mm -hmm. okay? So, so all the water from the fountains did not, did not um, 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 leave the fountains of the earth. So if you go out, that's why everywhere you go in the earth, if you dig deep enough, mm -hmm. you'll hit a well, mm -hmm. okay? And that well is either underground spring or an underground um, aquifer, mm -hmm. okay, or an underground sea, wow. okay. And if you look all around the world, okay, there is this underground sea, mm -hmm. okay, before you hit magma, mm -hmm. okay, before you hit that lava, okay, you have this water, and this water is heated, mm -hmm. okay, by the magma underneath the earth, and it's always been that way. Now what, what, now, what happened, and this what I'm explaining to you is called the hydroplate theory. And this is, um, uh, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll put a link uh, for, some, for scientists uh, uh, who can explain it even better than I can. Uh, uh, can um, you can click on this and you can learn more about it. But the earth basically was under this pressured water just like today when you have volcanoes and other things it's because of that magma the the, the water was being heated mm -hmm. and then you have the tides from the moon okay the moon pulls on the earth okay the and and, and it goes high tide low tide high tide low tide and what this did was broke the structural integrity of the crust of the earth Mm -hmm. Okay, and on this date, okay, this pressure had been build, building up, building up, building up, tide stretching on the earth, and then like a, a, a seam around the baseball, okay, a crack formed, mm -hmm. okay, around the earth that spread at, at um, like the speed of sound mm -hmm. around the earth. And all, it says right here, and all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, mm -hmm. okay? And when it burst forth, it burst forth with, with the energy of billions of atom bombs, hmm. Wow. okay? And blew up, boom, and shot water and the rocks, the granite mm -hmm. that was on top of this water, the mountains, the the, the just this, these huge um, um, uh, 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 pieces of the earth mm -hmm. were shot into the atmosphere. Okay. Okay. And it shot into the the, the pressure was so great it shot these rocks into outer space. Wow. Okay. And this is where. The hydroplate theory 
believes that the asteroids come from that circle our solar system okay. that these were actually earth rocks mm. okay and as they come back to the earth we can see that there are elements of water in them mm. that there are uh, sometimes microscopic creatures mm. um, um, in there with them because they are earth rock returning back to earth wow okay and and it's and it's just an amazing thing and, and with this pressure that, that hit, it broke the upper firmament okay. with all the water in it, in the process, mm -hmm. okay? So you had this water gushing up, it bursted the upper firmament, that ocean of water fell down like a sheet, okay? And because it was so high up in the air, mm -hmm. okay, it came down as ice, hmm. okay? So if you can imagine, um, a um, uh, 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 mountain size ice, mm -hmm. house size ice, mm -hmm. Empire State Building uh, 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 hunks of ice, mm -hmm. okay? Little hunks of ice, huge hunks of ice, mm -hmm. mountain hunks of ice, and it was just tearing people up, wow. just destroying people. And then the rain, mm -hmm. okay? I'm talking about not drops of rain, mm -hmm. I'm talking about oceans mm -hmm. of rain okay raining down okay and in the process the continent the the mass continent mm -hmm. split mm -hmm. okay and the tectonics plates began to move not inches per year but miles per hour mm -hmm. okay it was moving i believe that the, the hydroplates theory says at 35 miles an hour the earth, the, the, the continents began to depart from each other until they met resistance and came um, close to where they are today. So that you have the Americas, you have Europe, you have Africa, um, they all divided from that one huge continent and, and to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. So Antarctica, okay, was once part of the warm part of the earth that went down, wow. okay? The, the reason why you have um, new world monkeys, old world monkeys, new world cats, old world cats, mm -hmm. okay? It, it, it's because they were all part of one landmass and then over time bred differently um, and, and into the species that they are today because the, everything was all on one planet, on one landmass. Yes, yeah, so the the people and the animals were dying of, of boulders of ice falling on them, actual rocks falling on them. Um, there's evidence, fossil evidence of animals, large animals, frozen to death while running away. Wow. Herds of animals running away. There, there is a place, I forgot where it was, but animals running in a stream mm -hmm. and being frozen, okay, into the stream while running, and the stream froze from the bottom up and stuck their feet so that they couldn't move anymore. That's how fast the river froze. Wow. Okay, I mean, this was an event of all events. I mean, it was totally destructive cataclysmic it lasted for 40 days mm. and 40 nights of of total uh, uh total devastation mm -hmm. okay and <clears throat> and every creature on the earth um um died um it's a brief reverse um uh, i think it's still in 11 it says the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened Wow. Okay, and and then it rained. Okay, these sheets of rain. Okay, I'm talking about you know like like if you could imagine um, if if you were uh, one of these nuggets that are right here, and and you poured a five gallon bucket onto those things. That's how the rain was coming down. Mm -hmm. it, it couldn't be resisted. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were you were swept away and drowned. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 instantly frozen or overheated 
Okay, you had these extreme. Um, you may have had magma and lava in some for some places. Mm -hmm. You may have you may have had darkness and 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 and, and freezing and, and all these things. Oh, thank you, honey. And and it, it was just just ruination <laughs> all over. Verse twelve. And rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. Keep going. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, Japheth, together with his wife and the wives of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings, pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. Right, and they came to Noah, so Noah right. didn't have to gather them, they came to Noah, and Noah just let everything that came get into the boat, mm. you know, and, and um, all the creatures, I'm sure there was way more than two roaches and worms and all those kind of things, because because the birds had to eat, you know, mm. they had, you know, so there were plenty of bugs and stuff around, mm -hmm. and it was probably it was, it was probably very creepy to live. You probably wouldn't have wanted to be in the ark, but you definitely didn't want to be outside the ark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a carnival cruise or. Mm -hmm. uh, um, royal ambassador or something like that it wasn't but it but it wasn't being out there that you had this huge giant stadium sized cork mm -hmm. just going up and the waves must have been hundreds of feet as it would just drop oh boom and it would ride ah, and drop whoa boom and if you had this cork on, on the earth and it was just it was probably very very uncomfortable but they survived wow. they survived the 40 days and the 40 nights so I, I have a question so just to to recap the reason the Lord did this mm -hmm. is because just say it for me. yeah yeah I think that there was a couple of, of real reasons why number one because of the sin that was on the earth right. and he wanted he wanted to start back over with a clean slate okay okay and then I believe that the um, that the uh, uh, Nephilim, mm -hmm. okay, these the this race of beings that was not entirely human had to be destroyed. Okay, and 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 the so that the um, the gene pool would be totally human, okay. and um, so that redemption would take place. See, everything in the Old Testament is leading toward the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. okay, and that's what that's what we need to understand that the Messiah um, was to come, and God wasn't going to let anything stop the efficacy, the efficacy, mm -hmm. okay, the effectiveness mm -hmm. of the Messiah and His work um, um, to uh, to be thwarted. Okay. okay, so God cares about us that much mm -hmm. that He had to do this. But there was also a judgment aspect of this. Mm -hmm. So you had a redemptive aspect and a justice aspect. Mm -hmm. And and when you say, well, wow, God is, man, that, that must be, he must really be a trip to, you know, to, to kill everybody, kill all the animals and do, do all that. Well, it's his. Hmm. See, that's what you have to understand. See, we're not his judge. Mm -hmm. He's our judge. Mm -hmm. We're not his creator. Mm -hmm. He's our creator. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the creator has the right to do whatever he wants to do with his creation. Now, when you have your creation, and mm -hmm. and and I have my creation, okay, which would never happen, okay, and I make a world out of nothing, okay. okay you see, then I'll get to, to to be the judge over it. But, but the reality, and it's just cold-blooded reality, this is his thing mm. that he created out of his mind and by his power, and he gets to do anything he wants to do with it, including us. The fact that we would even think to pass judgment on God 
is, is just a sign of how deceived we are hmm. because of that bite of the of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. that we would that we would dare stand in judgment of the creator mm -hmm. yeah. and what you're describing is sovereignty is yes God, sovereign. God is sovereign mm -hmm. he does what he wants to do when he wants to do mm -hmm. how he wants to do it mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. you see and and at any time mm -hmm. and so whatever happens happens because of his sovereign will and you know there is a um, uh, there's a lot of language in the Christian uh, uh, in the Christian vocabulary about his permissive will mm -hmm. and his um, and his perfect will. And uh, mm -hmm. God only has one will. Mm -hmm. His will is his will. Mm -hmm. The reality is that that um, that everything that's done on this earth is simply not God's will. But he lets it happen. Mm -hmm. So so I understand the permissive will, but it's not a permissive will. It's just it's just permission. Mm -hmm. Because he gives us a certain degree of sovereignty. Mm -hmm. Because we're created in his image. Mm -hmm. He gives us a certain amount of sovereignty to um, to make certain choices. Mm -hmm. But the ultimate outcome, he's gonna control that. Okay. You see, and this flood is evidence of that that mm -hmm. that that hey um uh, 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 you can do what you want to do mm -hmm. but if you do it and it's and it's all wrong okay mm -hmm. he's going to take control of that thing after much patience mm -hmm. and long suffering mm -hmm. and endurance and and opportunity mm -hmm. okay he's going to eventually take control of that thing okay and 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 make sure that his will is done mm -hmm. that kingdom come Thy will be done mm -hmm. on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening right now. See, his kingdom is coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's going to be a king. It doesn't look like God is in control. It didn't look like God was in control during these thousands of years before the flood. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looked, everything looked crazy. Okay, but it came. Mm -hmm. And just like it came, Methuselah, a thousand years. See, we say it's been it's been two thousand years mm -hmm. since, since since Jesus died and said he was coming back. Okay, mm -hmm. but just one man in that time would live a thousand years, mm -hmm. and 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 he was several generations away from Adam. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but God was patient and long suffering, and this time the time doesn't bother him. Because he's eternal. He's got all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. You see, we trip out because we um, we have a short time on this earth. And that's all we see. Mm -hmm. You see, that doesn't mean that's all that there is. Mm -hmm. It's just that that's all we can see. And our judgment can only come from our five senses. Mm -hmm. You see, and so we can't see beyond that. So therefore, um, uh, uh, our judgment will never be right mm -hmm. because we have a temporal judgment. Mm -hmm. He has an eternal judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I know we're coming to an end, but if I ask you a question, you're going to answer it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so you were explaining kind of um, natural reasons why the flood possibly happened, but we know that God did it. Yeah, right. no doubt. Um, and we understand that probably during this time while Noah was building the ark, he was probably preaching. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that the people had an opportunity to repent yes. and maybe God wouldn't have brought the yeah, flood? I, I believe that that's a possibility. Yes, I believe that it's always, um, we never see a, um, a, a case where people turn to God, where God turned his back on people. Mm -hmm and did not relent mm -hmm. uh, um, of, of his judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people are, um, uh, uh, people repenting is a very rare event, mm -hmm. and especially en masse. People don't repent in mass. Mm -hmm. You see, individuals may repent, mm -hmm. but, but cultures rarely repent. Mm -hmm. we, only see, we only see one example in the entirety of scripture where a culture repented, mm -hmm. okay? And that's the story of Jonah, mm -hmm. okay? Jonah, Jonah preached the most powerful revival 
in, in the history of the world so that a whole city, mm -hmm. a great city of Nineveh, actually repented in mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, and God refrained. And Noah was upset. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah was upset. Yeah, Jonah, yeah, Jonah was upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's this very interesting. These two water stories, mm -hmm. the Jonah story and Jonah water story, and the the the, the Noah water story, and and um, so yeah. It's, but they they have some some overlap. It was all about sin and judgment, mm -hmm. both stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I, th I think that's all for today. You want to close this up okay. in prayer? Alrighty. Father God, Lord, we thank you that you are patient, Lord God, that you're long-suffering, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that you can do anything that you want to do, but you chose to love us. You chose to save us, Lord God. I pray that we will remember that, that we will live in that, and we will be encouraged by that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless God you. God bless baby. you. Yes, and, and remember that Jesus loves you. He has a wonderful plan for your life. Follow him, and the plan will come to pass. God bless you. God bless we'll see you, you next time.